you know, just a little bit, maybe. Okay, I don't like remember quite where it was, but like as long as I'm kind of centered, that's okay. So today's video um, is all about Martin Bionics. As you all know, I'm an amputee. I've been an amputee my entire life, and I recently just got connected with Martin Bionics because they have come up with a brand new socket. And for my non-amputees out there, a socket is, it's this part, it's the part you wear. Um, it's the part that your stump goes into to wear your prosthetic. And let me just tell you, like mind blown. While the technology for like knees and feet and prosthetics have been amazing, the technology for sockets hasn't changed at all. And that's a big problem because traditional sockets, and when I say traditional, this is my old one, and a lot of you guys probably recognize it. It's all black, it's all carbon fiber. Um, there is like a little cutout in the back. We'll talk about that more later. But this is what a traditional socket looks like, and this is what most amputees have. And not that these aren't great and don't get the job done. However, there are a lot of problems with traditional sockets. One of the main problems with this is that, I mean, it's just all carbon fiber, you know? And besides this little cutout, there's literally nowhere for your stump to go. You know, like it's just like stuck in this. And for me as an amputee, I know that I have a lot of problems with like water weight fluctuation, if that makes sense. So in the morning, my stump will be kind of swollen and, on, and bigger. And so that's really hard with something like this because like, like you can't, you can't go anywhere but in, you know? And so it would be really uncomfortable because it's like I'm trying to like squeeze my stump into it, but my, my stump is not the same size that it was when they casted me, you know? And it's all because of like water weight. It's crazy. And then, you know, as the day goes on, if I like work out, if I ride a horse or just throughout my daily life, you know, my stump would shrink throughout the day. So then, you know, the same socket that is like suffocating my stump in the morning is now too big for my stump in the evening. And then when you sit on it, you're not really sitting on your leg, right? You're sitting in this thing. It's like this thing would like dig into me. And I swear like my, I could not sit for more than like 30 minutes without my like stump going numb. It was so frustrating. And so like driving, like long car drives sucked. Like I would just take my leg off cause like I couldn't, I couldn't do anything with it. And a lot of amputees also experienced a lot of muscle atrophy. Um, and that's because like when you're in this thing in a traditional socket, you know, the muscle in your stump like fires, but then it, like it hits a wall, you know, like there's nowhere for it to go. So a lot of people lost a lot of muscle um, in these traditional sockets just, just cause like they can't do anything about it. You know, there's nowhere for those muscles to fire. It's like they fire, but wall, fire, but wall, fire, but wall. And while we complained and all that fun stuff, there was not like a lot we could do and there wasn't a lot of options out there for something better. Hold the phone. There is something better. And I believe that is a Martin Bionic socketless socket. So this is the socket. I'll just kind of like hold it up so y'all can see. Um, as you can tell, it looks a lot different than the traditional socket. Like it's, it's pretty cool. So the whole purpose of the Martin Bionic socket is so that way it could be more breathable, um, added, it would add like range of motion and flexibility um, and adjustability. I love the adjustability on this thing. It has been so ah, life changing. So you have this like ratchet strap here. And so this like loosens it. Oh, I took it off, but that's okay. Just put it back in. So like on mornings when my stump is a little more swollen, like I'll wear it like kind of loose. And like, like it's still good. It's still fun. I can still wear it no problem, you know? And obviously it's not loose right now because it's like later in the day. But then, you know, as the day goes on, then I can just tighten it as need be. 
and it's that easy. That's it, that's literally it. Like goodbye socks, goodbye all of it. Like all I have to do is this little ratchet thing So I chose to go with the vacuum system again. I really like the suction and so I just wanted to keep that. But you can see that it like literally like just where the suction is, that's where the carbon fiber is. But you can see all these like spaces, right? So like all these spaces and that's been life changing in and of itself. I think my favorite part <laughs> about this socket though um, is probably the back and it's this part so this is like the part that like your butt kind of sits in and i can honestly 100 percent say that well one i don't even feel the back anymore i know i mean you can see this one like it's pretty this is the back of it but like it's like actually like broken right there yeah you can see that and i have a little band-aid on it because it would like tear up my clothes it sucked but yeah so this was like it's oh, ugh, yuck I can honestly and wholeheartedly say that like when I stand in this thing, it feels like as close to what I can imagine having two legs to be. It feels like my leg is just one. And like obviously like I know I'm like still missing it, but you know, it's like one, it's crazy, but it is so, so comfortable and I remember, I remember when I like, you know, first tried this on, and I remember like sitting down for the first time and it it didn't feel like I was sitting on my prosthetic. It just felt like I was sitting. It feels so comfortable. It doesn't feel like I'm sitting on the leg and then sitting on the chair. It feels like I'm just sitting on the chair. Yeah. That just feels so weird. I can do this all day. <laughs> so I got to meet Jay Martin and he has been so incredible and I'm so excited to continue working with him. I'm here with Jay Martin, the founder of Martin Bionics and we are just gonna talk more about these sockets and just kind of like the history of Martin Bionics. So Jay, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us your history and background. Yeah, absolutely, well thank you. Um, so I'm a clinical practitioner by training um, and a few years ago I got invited by NASA to help them create some Iron Man exoskeleton suits for space and military applications. So really cool, fun season work with NASA. With, uh, you tend to have rigid brims. Um, the brim is the most difficult part of the prosthetic to make and design for a patient and yeah. for the patient to keep comfortable, right? So the brim of this socket is very similar to like a climbing harness. If you've ever been on a ropes course or rock climbing yeah. and you wear that climbing harness, if you have a nice high-end ergonomic climbing harness, you can hang on the side of a cliff all day and take 100% of your body weight in effectively bilateral AK brims. So this is literally just like a climbing harness brim. It's conforming. I could literally take this brim off and I could fold it up in my pocket. I know for traditional sockets, like the whole like process of making a socket is pretty long and arduous mm -hmm. and you could have to be recasted multiple times. Like I got, I got casted like yesterday and already now we're like onto the test socket. How, mm -hmm. how are you guys able to just like make it so much quicker than yeah. the traditional? Well, think of this socket design, uh, maybe similar to an erector set or a Lego set for prosthetics. Yeah. <clears throat> so instead of the tool set being plaster and hard plastic and heat guns and grinders to sculpt a hard piece of plastic to match the human body. Instead, we're literally adjusting little screws, um, very similar to like, you know, a rector, an erector set or, or a Lego set. You just plug yeah. and play pieces. Again, I think our goal is to make comfort accessible to all amputees. Yeah. To do that requires a, just a faster fitting process. So you yeah. have just more bandwidth to see more patients and to serve more, more amputees. And so that's, that's what we're really pressing. And even our latest technology um, called the uh, soft socket, uh, this is, uh, we have this for above the knee and below the knee levels, but we've incorporated this internal fabric panel that as you tighten up the socket, it is hugging the limb with fabric. And so it makes the margin of comfort even greater. Yeah. And so it's really a pretty amazing technology. And this allows us to have a lot more modularity and adjustability. Thank you so awesome. Much for your time. I'm excited for you to try it on. I'm so excited too. <laughs> let's let's get to it. <laughs> All right. Can you tie your shoe? You have more range of motion now? Oh my god, I'm not being like blocked by it. <gasps> what? Can I touch my toes? What? Is that 
that cool? That's so crazy! <laughs> and that's one of the hard things about being an amputee is that we have our bad days you know we have our days where we don't want to put our leg on where we just don't want to do anything because it hurts or it's just uncomfortable or blah 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 we're just tired of it we just don't want it on you know and i don't know man with the martin bionic socket like I'm like happy to put my leg on, you know? I'm like, I'm so filled with joy of like the thought that like, oh my God, I get to wear this like really cool thing and like I'm comfortable and I can, I don't have any more limitations, you know? Like I just feel so much joy because of that. And so it like, it makes me happy to put my leg on now. And I, I wouldn't have gotten that if it weren't for Martin Bionic Sockets. Um, as far as like the experience of getting the socket made, it is not that different from a traditional socket. So they still cast you the same, you still get a test socket and then you get your final socket. I will say though, like the time in between each of them is a lot shorter than traditional sockets. It was just like, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. I know it was like the easiest socket I think I've ever had made ever. I don't know, being in a traditional socket for, you know, 20 years and now moving on to this socket, like it is, like, it's just life changing, you know? And it's like, it's crazy to think cause it's like, it's just like all these like small, like little minor things. And it's like, wow, like somebody thought of that, you know, like somebody thought, of like the struggles that we're going through and like the things we have to deal with. And it's like, I wanna make it better for people, you know? And so it's just really cool that someone was thinking of us and someone who wasn't even an amputee themselves, you know? But someone was thinking about us and they wanted it to be better for us. And I just, like, I'm just so grateful, you know? I'm just really, really thankful. <laughs> if you're an amputee out there and you are interested in a Mark Bionic socket, um, I will leave the link to like their inquiry form <laughs> or something. I will leave a link to their website and I will let you guys know where you can find them um, if you are interested in a socket yourself. Um, so yeah, that's my video for the week. <laughs> I can stop crying. Um, yeah, that's my video for the week and I just wanted to share my experience in Martin Bionics and the socket and like there's an even better socket than this out there that they created that. Thank you so much for watching the video. Again, the link to Martin Bionics will be in my description. If you're an amputee and you were interested in this like new socket, click the link down down there. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Who knows when I'll post again. <laughs> Hopefully sooner than later, but we all know me. I'm just here. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day whenever you're watching this, and I will see you next time. Bye!